I don't believe it. Even the elephant doesn't want to be on camera. Bye. <laughs> Bye, elephant. <laughs> I am essentially doing the same drive I did yesterday afternoon, just in reverse. So I finished with the Angamas yesterday evening. I started with them this morning. Then we did the secretary bird. And now we're doing the same gentleman elephant that we saw on the sunset safari. Hello, my boy. This time all by himself. No accompanying younger males to push about and irritate him. I think they were irritating him a little bit yesterday. He was grumbling at them all the way through our sighting. And there we go. I'm not sure what the conclusion ever was, but yesterday we were playing a game about which actors would voice which animals, and I said James Earl Jones for him. I changed my mind, though. I feel like Ian McKellen would have been a better choice. Either way, I really am. He, he's going the opposite direction, and so am I, this morning, to the way with the, we were going yesterday afternoon. And I have to say, it's given a, the morning quite a surreal feel, like I'm doing the whole thing in reverse. He is beautiful, isn't he, Gillian? And yes, he does have a very impressive set of tusks. A gentleman elephant of the Mara. Quite a, I think he's actually quite an old boy. I don't think he's in his 50s, but I think there's a good chance he's well over 35, approaching 40. And I say that just because of the sort of sunken nature of his head and those massive tusks, of course. But you can't gauge an elephant's age by their tusks. And there are a couple of males wandering around that I've seen and I've actually come to know over the course of the last few months with really particularly large tusks. He's beautiful. Imagine how heavy those tusks must be. There's something so peaceful and sedate and there's a word I'm looking for in control of the situation. I don't quite know how to describe what I mean. Comfortable in his own skin. And what a wrinkly skin it is. There's some giraffe in the background just to complete the picture of giants. I wonder if perhaps I'll do my entire day in reverse and find the baby elephant at the end of the day. Oh, baby elephant, baby giraffe at the end of the day. <laughs> yes, that's, that's what I meant. Lots of raffies. Now, one thing I've noticed here in the Mara is that the females in particular have really, truly massive tusks. And yes, absolutely, it's a kind of strange, my strange version of Groundhog Day. Hopefully mine is more, it's more successful than I was yesterday. I didn't have a particularly successful day. Just in terms, I mean, it was beautiful and I really enjoyed it. But I didn't actually manage to find half of the stuff I was looking for. But the mere fact that my morning has included this gentleman, I think, should be sufficient. Stopping to have a sniff and a scratch behind the ear. Sedately strolling. He's got nowhere to be, got no time frame, just going where he wants to go. For our new viewers, elephants are not territorial. He doesn't have to go and scent mark and patrol. All he has to do is just exist. Maybe if he's particularly feeling social, he might go looking for some ladies. Dana, he did look a little thin to me, nothing too serious. It's one of the reasons why I suggested he might be quite old, um, for two reasons. One, his teeth might be wearing down in which case he's older than I suggested he is, in which case he's over 45, I would say. So it might be that his teeth have started to wear down. It might be that he's started to lose a little bit of elasticity to his skin, and some subcutaneous fat. Older elephants tend to have more prominent bones, but he's not, I mean, he's really not skinny skinny. He's just, his bones just seem a little bit prominent. Here he goes, and peaceful, it's like a metronome. Admittedly a really bad metronome, probably one that you shouldn't practice the piano to, but a metronome nevertheless.
Thanks, boy. I'm glad we crossed paths again today.